In our last video, we focused primarily on the qualitative properties of acids and bases. Now we'll talk more quantitatively by doing some calculations with acids and bases. You'll want to make sure that you have your calculator handy. After today, you should be able to explain the correlation to the strength of acids and bases to the pH and pOH scale, and calculate pH, pOH, the H plus ion concentration, and the OH minus concentration. Let's first discuss the pH scale. So the pH scale is a measure of the acidity of a solution. It goes from 0 to 14, where from 0 to before 7 is considered acidic, 7 is neutral, and after 7 to 14 is basic. This is the formula that you would need to calculate pH. So pH is usually a number, as I mentioned, from 0 to 14. The negative log is like the log that you would be using if you were in math class. And then the H plus that you see there, that actually represents the concentration of H plus in molarity. So you can see that the pH is related to the H plus ion concentration. Usually we say that solutions that have high concentrations of H plus are going to have a low pH because that is the mathematical relationship that we see here. Let's try some examples, but before we do, you need to be able to locate the log button on your calculator. So if you have your scientific calculator handy, make sure you can locate the log button so that you can follow along. And if you're having any difficulty, as always, you want to ask your teacher for help. Here's an example. What is the pH of a solution that has an H plus ion concentration equal to 1.5 times 10 to the minus 4 molar? We're going to be using the fact that pH equals negative log of the H plus concentration. So all we have to do is plug in 1.5 times 10 to the minus 4. You will have to type into your calculator a negative sign, hit the log button, and then type in 1.5 times 10 to the minus 4. Remember, depending on your calculator, whenever you plug in scientific notation, you could use EE or EXP buttons on your calculator. If you do not have an EE or EXP button, you want to then put a parenthesis around it, and you can use times 10 to the caret. The only time you need parentheses is if you're using times 10 to the caret. You do not need it if you're using EE or EXP. So you want to verify that you can get this answer just to make sure that you know how to use your calculator. The pH is going to be 3.8. This is a unitless quantity, and you can see that this is very much an acidic solution because the pH is less than 7. Here's another one. What is the H plus ion concentration in a solution with pH of 9.42? So this one's different because I'm giving you the pH on the left and you have to calculate the H plus concentration. So we're going to rearrange so that the negative sign is taken over and moved over to the left side. But notice we've got log of the H plus ion concentration. Remember, we don't want log of H plus, we just want H plus by itself. So just like you would be doing if you were in algebra class, you'd have to do the opposite of log. Well, that's called the anti-log. And so that's where you need to locate another button on your calculator. The other button that you want to locate is 10 raised to the power. So sometimes it looks like that, like 10 to the x, or it may be 10 with a caret sign. And so if you're, then what you'll do is you'll have to plug that into your calculator instead of using log. Sometimes it can be the second function with the log button as well. So verify that you can find that, and then we can try to plug it in. So you're going to plug in 10 caret raised to the power of negative 9.42. And then when you solve that, you will get the H plus ion concentration equal to 3.80 times 10 to the minus 10 molar. Since this is a concentration, you do need to indicate the unit of M, big M for molar. There's another scale that we could talk about. This is called the pOH scale. It's actually the opposite of the pH scale. The pOH scale comes in handy whenever we're looking at the alkalinity or basicness of a solution. The good news is that it's very similar to the pH scale, but what kind of trips students up is it's actually the opposite, as I mentioned. So for example, in this case, from zero to before seven, we would consider that to be basic and then from 7 to 14, that would be considered acidic, but 7 still considered neutral. 
so it's just flipped. This is also a formula that will come in handy to calculate the pOH of a solution. So pOH equals negative log of the OH minus concentration. Hopefully this formula may make a little bit more sense to you now because we've already done the pH one. But also, since we're talking about bases, I think it makes sense that we have OH in this equation as well. So here's an example. What is the pOH of a solution that has an OH minus concentration equal to 3.27 times 10 to the minus 9 molar? We're going to use the pOH equation now. pOH equals negative log of the OH minus concentration. So that's what it would look like. And then again, to practice putting this into your calculator, you'll do the negative log, and then you'll have to plug in the scientific notation. You should get a value of 8.49. Again, pOH, just like pH, is a unitless quantity. Now, since the pH and pOH scales are opposite each other, the pH plus the pOH must equal 14. So for example, what is the pH in a solution with a pOH of 8.6? So you would take the pH plus the 8.6 equals 14, and be careful with your algebra here. You'll actually have to subtract 8.6 from either side, and then you'll get a pH of 5.4. So let's summarize the formulas that we've learned about so far pH equals negative log of the H plus. Notice that pH always goes with H plus. pOH equals negative log of the OH minus concentration, right? OH goes with OH. And then finally, pH plus pOH equals 14. Water is a pretty cool substance, right? Water will, those molecules will continue to collide with each other when they're in, in uh, the same container. So water will often self-ionize to an extent into individual ions. If you went on to study more chemistry and physics classes, you would actually learn that the hydrogen ions aren't really hydrogen ions. They're actually something called hydronium. But for our purposes, we'll just describe it as H+. Now, because of this self-ionization, we can actually use a relationship that's really helpful to us. If you take the hydrogen ion concentration and multiply it by the hydroxide ion concentration, you will always have it equal to a constant. This constant is called Kw. And so this will always equal the same number, which is 1 times 10 to the minus 14 molar. This question says, what is the H plus concentration in a solution where the hydroxide ion concentration is equal to 6.73 times 10 to the minus 5 molar? So we're now going to practice with that formula. The H plus equal, times 6.73 times 10 to the minus 5 equals that water constant. So what you have to do is just like you would do algebra, you'd have to divide the 6.73 times 10 to the minus 5 to both sides. And when you do that, you should get the H plus ion concentration equal to 1.49 times 10 to the minus 10 molar. Sometimes multiple formulas can be used to carry out these calculations. So for example, this question says, what is the pOH in a solution with an H plus ion concentration equal to 2.17 times 10 to the minus 5? So the first thing that you want to look at is what information you have. So since you have the H plus ion concentration, that tells you that you have to use a formula that has H plus in it. So at this point, we could use the uh, KW equation, or we could use the fact that pH equals negative log of the H plus ion concentration. So there are multiple ways to do this problem. The way that I selected was to use this KW calculation. So I'm going to do this first. So I'm going to now do H plus times OH minus, and then equal the KW. I'm going to plug in that 2.17 times 10 to the minus 5, divide that to the other side, and I should get the hydroxide ion concentration as 4.61 times 10 to the minus 10 molar. The question wants to know what's the pOH, so I have to take it one step further, and again, we say to ourselves, well, what relationship do we know that relates to the hydroxide ion concentration? Well, we know that pOH equals negative log of the OH minus concentration, so that would be the formula that we would use because we want the pOH. 
So we'll plug in, and then when you do your negative log of that 4.61 times 10 to the minus 10, you should get a POH value of 9.34. Alternatively, as I mentioned, there's another way to do this. You could absolutely use the other equation where we're using uh, pH equals negative log of the H plus concentration, but it'll still give you the same answer. Here's another one. What's the OH minus concentration in a solution where the pH is equal to 8.1? Again, there's multiple ways to do this problem. So for this problem, I chose to use pH plus pOH equals 14. So I'm going to plug in a pH of 8.1. I'm going to subtract that from both sides, and I get a pOH equal to 5.9. I then want to know what the hydroxide ion concentration is. So I'm going to use the formula pOH equals negative log of the OH minus concentration. So then I'm going to have to move that negative sign to the other side and then take that anti-log. And so you should get an hydroxide ion concentration equal to 1.3 times 10 to the minus 6 molar. If you have questions, make sure you ask your teacher for help. As I mentioned, it's very important that you make sure that you know how to use your calculator as well and they can help you too. Best of luck as you begin worksheet four. Thank you so much for watching.